lying and tampering with evidence. And the Judicial Tenure Commission wants her removed from the bench. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner was in Lansing today and shows us how some people came seeking accountability as well as justice. It's taken a full year to get here. The judge has been suspended, but still getting paid $148,000 a year. With all the misconduct allegations, protesters came here from Livingston County. This is your last hearing. Are you confident going in? Not far away, they carried signs. Brennan for prison, free Kowalski, justice for Bella. Brennan is accused of failing to recuse herself from the double murder trial of Jerome Kowalski in 2013, that Brennan had a relationship with the lead detective, Sean Furlong. Were you there or not? No. You weren't at the house. Kowalski was convicted, but has since been granted a new trial. Brennan has said her affair started after the trial, but evidence includes 1,500 cell phone calls and 400 text messages between Brennan and Furlong over several years, including during the trial. Doesn't that support the, the assumption or the finding that, that they had a very close personal relationship that, again, at a minimum should have been disclosed to the parties? It discloses that... With all due respect, Your Honor, it, it establishes that they were exchanging phone calls and texts. How close was it? We don't know. But he also said this to several allegations of lying and abuse of power. Maybe there was a little, a little, and I don't think there was, but maybe a little, you know, misconduct. And a little misconduct ought to be dealt with in less than uh, a hanging. The Judicial Tenure Commission is pushing for the max. Really? Judge Brennan needs to be removed from the bench. That's the only uh, reasonable conclusion. Thank you. After the hearing, Brennan left out a side door without commenting. I mean, a 10-year-old could figure this out. <clears throat> really. And so what needs to happen? She needs to be taken off the bench. On June 3rd, six-year-old Bella was killed by her own mother, Melissa, in a murder-suicide in Brighton. Her dad fought for a personal protection order and custody. Judge Brennan handled part of his case. The people pay for the system, but basically they're protecting the people within it and not doing anything for the people who count on it when they really need it. The high court could remove, suspend, or do nothing. Judge Brennan also faces criminal charges of perjury and others related to the same misconduct. A decision on whether she goes to trial is coming by the end of the month. In Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Jim.